gas polluted. If I catch a charge, I'm on my Alright, what's going on, people? Hope you enjoyed my, uh, my new intros. I've been uh, incorporating songs that I like personally. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, let's get started. So today, um, got a few things going on. Let me just jump backwards to the last couple days and why I haven't uh, had any other videos. Well, for one, it was uh, Easter, so spending time with family. Plus, I was able to grab some more parts for our build, which were really needed. And I'm stoked about it. So, uh, let's... Let's uh, actually bring you to some of them, and but before I do that, let me uh, tell you what I'm going to be doing today. So to continue refreshing my engine, I'm going to just go over my cylinder heads with uh, the block with some scotch Bright, just clean it up a little more. I already kind of went over them. The cylinder head is pretty much done, and uh, also going to clean the... Um, where the oil pan meets up at as well and get that all squared away so that when I order my gaskets it's just put everything together that's mainly what I'm trying to do right now is just get everything set so that when I get all my the head gasket and if I got to use permatex and stuff like that then <clears throat> for stuff that doesn't have a head gasket you know it's all ready so all right, moving forward, let's uh, bring you to some of the stuff that I got yesterday. So, yeah, let's do this. So, I got the intake manifold, which I'm going to take it all apart. I want to clean it, and I am going to put some paint on this to paint match my timing cover, you know. And uh, just clean it all up and see what hoses I will need to get, because I'm going to replace all of these as these are you know over you know almost 20 years old so also got the radiator definitely needed that I'll rock out with that one until I could get a much better one but I'm gonna clean it up and make sure it's good to go also got a power steering pump because I like to have power steering in my car feast your eyes on this ladies and gentlemen we got an engine harness and the computer and it is a <clears throat> manual transmission one dude I'm so excited about that so I've got that, I gotta go through it, make sure all the wires are good, you know, and uh, go from there. And last piece of the puzzle, which I kind of grabbed, it, it all came together, so was another engine block and cylinder head. <clears throat> if you notice, on here it's got a bunch of, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see this here, let me block the light a little bit. It's got the pulley need that um it's got the knock sensor it's got a bunch of stuff that i'm gonna need i'm gonna end up tearing this engine apart uh and then just reselling what i need so all right guys so i'm gonna throw you guys on a time lapse i'm gonna get started on some of this stuff we'll catch you guys in a minute So if you guys decide to do this, you know, yourself, you know, WD-40 works, you know, look it up. Um, they sell scrapers that you could pre-go over this lightly with and just uh, get some of the bigger, you know, stuff that was left like the, from the head gasket or any bigger chunks of carbon buildup. But if you do do it, you know, just take your time with it. Don't really grind into it really hard. Just, uh, you know, take your time. It's a scotch Brite pad, so it's not going to score this at all. Plus, 
and I mean unless you have a aluminum block but this is a cast iron block so yeah let's uh, get this finished so that we can uh, start on that over there and yeah Alright guys, so just finished doing it all and I have to say it came out really nice. Um, you know, I focused more on obviously the ceiling parts, but you run your hand across this man and it is smooth as baby shit. So I did that side, I did just where the timing, timing cover is going to go as well. Cleaned all that up on that side over here, did it. I didn't really go too crazy with it, but um, you know, I, I'm more focused on obviously the, the part that needs to be focused on. So that's done. Also did the um, oil pan, which, maybe I could pop you guys under there and show you. It took me a couple minutes to do that on both sides. Didn't really focus too much on that as well. Just enough to get it looking real crispy. So, uh, now I'm gonna pull apart the intake manifold and try cleaning it. Uh, I'm not sure. Oh. I'm gonna pull apart the intake manifold now and clean it, as you guys were just looking at my head. The top of my head, anyway. Um, and uh, try and get that cleaned up. It is, I probably spent a good 
two hours on that damn thing, maybe more. So, yeah, gonna uh, get that all taken apart and cleaned up and um, see what happens from there. So, we'll catch you in a minute. Alright guys, so before I dug myself a hole and started taking all this stuff apart, I just stopped. So a couple things I noticed, they did their own type of a EGR delete here, because this is the EGR. Uh, if you've seen the video, I was trying to pull these off, so I was going to clean those out a little bit, but decided not to. Um, and they also plugged this, which... I followed it, it runs over to here. It's probably just another vacuum line for something. I really don't know, but I'm gonna save this for another day. Clean it all up nice, nice. So I'm actually about to uh, pack it up and call it a day because tomorrow I start my new job. So yeah, can't wait. Finally get some money and be able to buy more car parts. So, salute to the new job. Anyways, all right guys, this is where I close out today's video. Sorry it was kind of boring and not really, you know, anything too intent, but you know, these are things we have to do to get our car to run correctly. So, uh, those of you that uh, been here for a while, you know, I appreciate the support. Um, Definitely don't forget to leave a like, throw a comment, and uh, if you are new to the channel, check out some of my other videos. Definitely got some uh, some cool videos going on. Um, and hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get the notification. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully uh, tomorrow we can get some more stuff done. And uh, eventually get this thing on the road, man. I can't wait to start sliding it. So... Anyways, guys, I thank you for your support, and uh, I appreciate you watching. So, thank you, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Nigga, that one 20 seconds on the clock.